All right, welcome back. We are going to talk about regulators. Regulators are an important part of the pneumatic system, as what happens is from our compressed air tanks, which I've already got in an inline system here, they go to the regulator. Now, the regulator is designed to allow only a certain amount of pressure to flow through the rest of the system into our pistons. Okay, Regulators operate with an inlet and an outlet, and I'll show you in the base here that if you have your inlet, which is the short side here, and the reason why I say it's the short side is if you look right here very carefully, there is the out arrow. That is showing the direction of the air flow. So I've got my inlet here. Air is going to come in through this end, and it's going to exit out the opposite side. You need to have two separate plugs located here. This back side is a pressure relief valve. If our regulator were to fail, and it does not allow only 60, 80, however many pounds per square inch out, this is set to be a fail-safe that will allow no greater than 120 PSI out. Then in the front, we've got our gauge to tell us how much pressure is actually going to be expelled out to our pistons that are charged by our solenoids. So I want to make sure that I connect my inlet. This is coming from my air tanks. So my inlet is pushed in through here and makes a snug connection. Now the next item that from the regulator is going to go to what's called a solenoid. Now I have the inlet to the solenoid connected here. This goes to the outlet of our regulator. Now this solenoid is a very simple one push action solenoid. We have our air coming in. What's going to happen is there is a lever system in here that activates left and right. When the button is pushed, it opens up the other valve. When it's released, it triggers back to the original. And we are going to connect these two components to what's called a piston. Now this piston has an arm that extends out and in based on the amount of air pressure in the system. So to connect it, I've got just male connectors. I'm going to just tightly push those into place. I have my regulator in line. To adjust regulator pressure, this top gauge here, this twist dial, doesn't seem to twist right now, but if you pull it out, it allows you to twist one way and the other, and that adjusts our air pressure. I'm going to leave this aimed upright as we charge our tank. You're going to see that gauge go up. Here we go. I want that gauge to hit no greater than 60 PSI. We are at 40. We're creeping up to our 60 mark right now. So if you notice, it's sitting at that 60, but my other gauges are going upwards. I am at 80 right now for my overall power. I'm going to wait just a couple seconds more to show you and that should be good turn my air pressure off I don't hear any leaks this is a prime time to find out if your threading worked out now if you notice this stayed at a total of 60 pounds per square inch and that is what I want I do not want to exceed that 60 but if you notice my piston here has extended and I can't push it back in but with my solenoid when I hit that trigger it shoots in, and then when I release, as long as there is air pressure in the system. Now, if you notice, my gauge, every time I go in and out, loses air. And that is because of how much air pressure was stored within the tanks.